Okay, in this video I'm going to uh, explain how to uh, do some uh, uh, three-digit subtractions. Okay, so um, this is our uh, learning objective, counting up to solve three-digit subtractions. And we've got a word problem here, uh, written in green. Uh, there's a bicycle race from Windsor to Toronto. Okay, so they're traveling from the city of Windsor to the city of Toronto and they're riding bicycles, okay? They must complete the race in 10 days. The total distance is 874 kilometers. So that means that it is 874 kilometers from Windsor to Toronto. And so far, the competitors, the people in the race, have bicycled 625 kilometers. And the what you need to find out is how much further do they need to go. All right. Now, if you'll remember what we talked about with uh, solving word problems, uh, rucksack, uh, then you need to read this question again, and you should highlight words that are important. All right. Now, um, in the interest of keeping this video as short as possible with lots of examples, uh, I'm not going to go through it again. I'm just going to highlight the information that's important. Um, okay, so first of all, uh, the part where it's uh, the bicycle race Windsor to Toronto. That's not super important. Okay, it doesn't matter where we're going from or to. Okay, uh, it also doesn't matter that the race needs to be finished in 10 days. That's kind of information that's um, there, but it's not really necessary. What you do need to know is what the total distance is, and that it's 874 kilometers. You also need to know that they've traveled 625. All right? And the question tells you how much further do they need to go, so that means what they want you to do is tell them if, they're, if they've done 625 kilometers, how much more do they need to travel? And a good way um, to work that out, it's not the only way, but uh, a fairly simple way is to use what we call frog hops. And if you remember, uh, the frog always starts at the smaller number. So in this case, he's going to start at 625 kilometers. So we mark 625 kilometers on our number line. And we have to remember that he always and it starts at the small number, and he ends at the big number. Well, the big number, in this case, is 874 kilometers. So we write in 874 here. And now we're just going to use hops. We're just going to use hops along here in order to get to 874, and then we just add up the amounts in each hop. All right? So an easy way to do this is to say, right, um, we have 625 here. What do we have to add to 625 to get to the nearest set of 100? Because remember, we're trying to make this as easy as possible. We want to do it as in as few hops as we can. All right, so uh, what would we have to add to 625 to get to the nearest set of 100? Okay, well, what is the nearest set of 100? Well, the nearest set of 100 would be 700. Okay. Okay, so, and remember, we're not going back. We don't want to go back. So we, we can't consider 600 as being the nearest set of 100 because we're, we want our number to get bigger, not smaller. So we need to go to the next biggest set of 100. Okay, so what did we do to 625 to get to 700? Well, we had to add 75, okay? So that gets us to 700. Then we go to the next set of 100, okay, which will be 800, okay? What did we add to 700? to get to 800. Well, we added 100. Okay. And now we just work out what did we add to 800 to get 874? 
we added 74. All right, and now all we do is we add up the three hops. We add up the 100, we add up the 75, and we add up the 74. Okay? Which will give us 249. All right, so that means that means that uh, 800, let's write it up here, 800 and 74 subtract 625 equals 249. Sorry about my writing, but I'm having to do this in a hurry. Okay, so you can see that we can actually subtract by adding. Okay, as long as we start with the smallest number, we can uh, just add on chunks like we did here. All right, and we've done this in three hops. So we can actually use adding to work out how much our answer is going to be in a subtraction. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, in this question, we've got 524 subtracted by, subtracted, let's try that again, 524 subtract 378. Now, the trick is, if you're going to use frog hops, you have to remember which number to put at which end of the number line, okay? So, in this case, because we're using frog jumps, we have to start with the small number. The frog always starts with the small number, and we're going to write that number here at this end of the number line. And then we look at this number, it's the bigger number, and it's going to go at this end of the number line. All right. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so we've written 378 and 524. Now, just as I said last time, the first thing you have to do is work out what do we have to add to 378 to get to the next biggest set of 100. Well, the next biggest set of 100 is going to be 400. Remember, we're not going backwards, okay? We're not going backwards, we're going forwards, okay? We're getting bigger. Okay, so what did I add to 378 to get to 400? We added 22, okay? Now, we go from 400 up to the next biggest set of 100, okay? which is going to be 500, okay, and we added 100, all right, and now what did we go, what did we do to 500 to get to 524? Well, you should be able to work that out on your own, we added 24, so, <laughs> 24, okay, so now, it doesn't matter where you write it, but now, I think I'll do it uh, over here, we write what we've, whatever we've written in these hops, we add them all up, okay? So we've got 100 plus 24 plus 22 equals 146, okay? So now that means that 524 subtract 378 is 146. Now, if you're not sure about that, this is how to check. You take this number, you add it to this number, and you should get this number. If you don't get this number, you've done something wrong. Okay? Probably, uh, a lot of people in year four, they tend to make mistakes with the units and the tens. Okay? So double check that you've uh, done the working out with the units and the tens properly. Okay, but basically, you take this number, add it to this number, you should get this number. Basically, you take these two, add them together, should give you this. Again, if it doesn't, you've got a problem. Okay, all right, I hope you found that helpful. Good luck.